Merton's Portfolio Problem Merton's Portfolio Problem is a well-known problem in continuous time finance and in particular intertemporal portfolio choice. An investor must choose how much to consume and must allocate his wealth between stocks and a risk-free asset so as to maximize expected utility. The problem was formulated and solved by Robert C. Merton in 1969 both for finite lifetimes and for the infinite case. Researchers continued to extend and generalize the model to include factors like transaction costs and bankruptcy. Problem Statement The investor lives from time zero to time t, his wealth at time t is denoted weight. He starts with an own initial wealth w0, which may include the present value of wage income. At time t he must choose what amount of his wealth to consume, ct, and what fraction of wealth to invest in a stock portfolio, pi t, the remaining fraction 1 minus pi t being invested in the risk-free asset. The objective is, where E is the expectation operator, U is a known utility function, which applies both to consumption and to the terminal wealth, or bequest, weight, epsilon parameterizes the desired level of bequest, and rho is the subjective discount rate. Dot. The wealth evolves according to the stochastic differential equation. Where R is the risk-free rate, mu, sigma, R the expected return and volatility of the stock market and dBT is the increment of the Wiener process, i.e. the stochastic term of the SDE. The utility function is of the constant relative risk aversion, CRRA, form. Where gamma, backslash display style backslash gamma, is a constant which expresses the investor's risk aversion, the higher the gamma, the more reluctance to own stocks. Consumption cannot be negative, ct greater than or equal to zero, while by t is unrestricted, that is borrowing or shorting stocks is allowed. Investment opportunities are assumed constant, that is r, mu, sigma are known and constant, in this, 1969, version of the model, although Merton allowed them to change in his intertemporal cap, 1973. Solution Somewhat surprisingly for an optimal control problem, a closed form solution exists. The optimal consumption and stock allocation depend on wealth and time as follows. This expression is commonly referred to as Merton's fraction. Note that W and T do not appear on the right hand side, this implies that a constant fraction of wealth is invested in stocks, no matter what the age or prosperity of the investor. Where 0 less than or equal to epsilon 1, backslash display style 0 backslash leak backslash epsilon backslash ll1, and the variable rho, backslash display style backslash rho, is the subjective utility discount rate. Dot colon 401. Extensions. Many variations of the problem have been explored, but most do not lead to a simple closed form solution.